Our subject for today is science. So are you ready to listen kids? But before that, let us have our opening prayer. Let's put our hands together and feel the presence of our Lord. Lord, we praise you and glorify your name. We ask that you will strengthen us, restore us, and inspire us with your love. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. May you bless our NCS parents, students, and faculty staffs. Thank you for your love and protection. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So kids, our lesson for today in Lesson 4 is about how animals are useful to human. Again, how animals are useful to human. Animals provide us food. It includes animals give us meat. Meat from pigs is called pork. Meat from cattle is called beef. Chicken and dogs gives us eggs. Next, cows, carabaos, and goats are source of milk and cheese. While seafood such as fish, shrimps, crabs, and shellfish are sources of iodine and protein. Okay, animals provide us clothing and other materials. Let us talk about them one by one. Some clothes, shoes, bags, wallets, belts, headbands, and bracelets come from the skin of snakes such as crocodiles and alligators. Ivory comes from elephant's tusks. Ivory can, make, can be made into combs, necklaces, and piano. Coats of sheep are good sources of wool. Wool can be made into sweaters, blankets, and coats. Silk comes from silkworm. Now, some animals help people in doing their work. So let us learn as people's helpers. How do, how do animals help us? Dogs guard houses. Canine dogs seen in malls are used in sniffing, bombs, and detecting illegal substances. While carabaos help farmers plow the field, some help carry heavy objects. Horses are means of transportation. They also help in carrying heavy loads. While cats can catch mice and other pests, especially inside our house. Now let us talk about a source of entertainment. Elephants. Monkeys, lions, seals, and horses appear in circuses. As pets, other animals like dogs, birds, and fish can become good pets and can make happy. Mosquitoes, these insects carry diseases like dengue, malaria, and hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic fever or H fever. A person who has dengue kids will have high fever. Remember that. 
AIDS fever causes high fever common to children. They experience bleeding and they feel weak. When a mosquito bites a person with malaria, it sucks the malaria germs and transfers them to another person. Now, let's have rats. Rats are diseases carriers too. They cause lep leptospirosis. They also destroy clothes, books, and crops in the fields. Rats like to stay in dark places and damp holes like the drainage system. They come out at night and may go to kitchens and cabinets. Next, we have cockroaches and flies. Cockroaches and flies swarm in dirty places. They carry germs from collected garbage. When they land on food, the person who eats the food may become sick. Flies and cockroaches cause dysentery and cholera. Cholera means and other diseases can cause loose bowel movement or called LBM and diarrhea. Next, we have the lice. Lice live in the hair of human beings. It is important to take a bath daily to avoid having lice and to keep hair healthy. While fleas live on the body of animals and feed on their blood, fleas are called parasites. Next, we have worms. Worms are also parasites. They are thin and sickly children with big stomachs are likely to have worms. They enter the body when the children put dirty fingers in their mouth. Now let's talk about co how to control animals or controlling harmful animals. First, we need to cover the foods. So cover all food on the table. Cover garbage too. Burn or bury decaying garbage. Flies breed on uncovered food, garbage, and decaying matters. Next, remove stagnant water. Cover water containers so mosquitoes cannot lay their eggs there. Always clean the kitchen, cabinets, drawers, and storerooms. Okay, next, kill rats with pesticides and mosquitoes, flies, and cockroaches with insecticides. Did you understand our lesson, kids? Now, if you really understand our lesson, it is activity time. Let us answer your book in science. So let us answer review letter B. Here's the instruction. Write on the blank the use of animal or the group of animals. Use the codes letter F for food, CM for clothing and other materials, PH for people's helper, and SE for source of entertainment. Are you ready kids? So here's our questions. The number one is kettle. What does kettle? Answer is F for food, CM clothing and other materials, and PH. Next we have elephant. The answer is cloth and other materials, source of entertainment. Next we have horse, PH and SE. Next we have ship, CM and F. And the next one we have silkworm, clothing and other materials. Next chicken is for F, stands for food. Snake is for clothing and other materials. Caraval is for F and PH. Nine is for Nine cow is for F and PH. And the number 10, seal is for 
source of entertainment. Now let's answer review letter C. Here's the instruction. Identify the harmful animals causing the following harm. Write the answer on the blank. Number one, leptospirosis. It is for rat. Number two, LBM and diarrhea, diarrhea is for cockroaches and flies. And then the third one, number three, is dengue is for mosquitoes. And then number four, itchiness of the scalp is for lice. And then number five, live on animals and feed on their blood is for fleas. Next, number six, thin and sickly children with big stomach is for parasitic worms. And then number seven, we have malaria. Malaria is also for mosquitoes. And then number eight, destroy clothes and books is for rats. And then number nine, cholera is for cockroaches and flies. And then the last number, number 10, age fever is also for mosquitoes. Did you understood our lesson, kids? So now for your assignment in science book, please answer page 108, review letter A only. Did you understand, kids? Thank you for listening and watching. See you again next time. Goodbye!